All right, welcome everybody. This is Dan Hunt with the JSK Rochester Virtual Dojo. Today is the uh, 19th, January 19th. And uh, we are now about three weeks into our session, which is kind of nice. So uh, today we plan to work on some more of our moving through stance. So, so far we've done forward, we've done backwards, we've done uh, full maate is kind of like in the in the kata. All right. Now I want to work um, uh, the turning drills for like 270 degree turns, so that we get uh, so we get the kind of all the different ways that we move in kata. Uh, second part, I want to do some uh, jui pon kumite drills as well as uh, you know blocking and countering the attacks, and then uh, finish up with uh, some techie need on, as well as do some more empty from the other day before. So uh, with that, let's get started. All right, so our, our main theme of this movement is you have to use all of the pieces of the movement in order to make yourself real efficient at moving. Okay, so if I want to move that way, okay, from here, I got to squeeze my thighs, I got to push and push up here, and I need to get onto this new leg as fast as I can. Okay, so let's do that a few times. So, okay, let's start with about. Okay, so facing this way, right leg forward. Okay. Our goal is to get on this leg as quick as possible. So I'm gonna push, squeeze, and then drive. Ready, one, and back. Okay, so same thing going backwards. So going backwards, my goal is to get on this back leg here as quick as possible by shifting my weight with my buttocks and my upper body still straight, but I'm shifting my weight into that, into my heel so I can push backwards. Ready, one. Now going backwards, I'm also going to squeeze two and push off my old front leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Good, other way. Okay, so the idea when you move backwards is try to think. Put all your weight into that ankle, okay? And lift off the front leg, watch. Okay, by tucking underneath here, okay? So lifting, pushing your weight into the back heel so your heel stays on the ground, you can start driving immediately. Ready, hands up, hitch, squeeze those sides. Knee, thump, she, go, rock, hitch. Hutch, cute, two. All right, let's go back this way again. This time we're gonna do a full 180 degree turn, okay? In doing that, a couple things we need to add to this. The hip going in that direction. The foot is not just going straight back, but it is going across the body. So from here, my back, or my front foot is gonna go over here, okay? Gotta go over here, one shoulder width, okay? And I gotta turn this hip, turn this hip, turn this hand, turn this head. Everything moves together. The same squeeze happens in the inner thighs. The same drive from your front leg pushes back into this heel this way. So I'm gonna do all of that and do a down block. Okay, do it again. Two, three, four. Bring that shoulder around, head around, arm around, back, draw hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, eight. All right, let's try the other way. Okay, so left leg forward. So that means my right arm, my head, my shoulders, my hip, all the squeeze, 
the foot goes that way, I push off of this, squeeze my thighs together, everything moves to get me going that way. Ready. It's knee. Thump. She. Go. All right. Check yourself. Are you pivoting on your heel on your right leg? Or are you pivoting on the ball of your foot? Should be pivoting on the heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze those thighs. Nine. That's one ten. Eight. All right, good. So any questions moving forward, moving back, and doing the full 180 degree turn? Anybody? Do you feel like you're faster? Adding those thigh squeeze. I have a question. Sure. Can we add like when we spin? Can we add like a down block reverse punch? Well, we've been doing the down block all along. So we're just trying to work on the stance. So trying not to make too much confusion, okay? So just keep it kind of uh, simple for now, okay? All right, so the next the I next uh, Araha, can you put yourself on mute again? Okay, so the next one we're going to do is the big 270 degree turn. Okay, this involves all the same things you did from here. Okay, only you're coming further. So this leg is going to go way over there. Okay, it's on the other side of this leg. And then all this turning. All this squeezing, okay, and that shoulder turn, head turn, all that happens together. So from here, when I squeeze it all together, let me do it from this side and let you see it. When I squeeze it all together, I step out, okay. So notice my, notice my heel squeezes in here and keeps going, okay. So my thighs squeeze together. Okay, so let's try that. Everybody facing this way, put your right leg forward because most katas end with a right leg forward for some reason. Okay, and we always go that way at the top and always go that way at the bottom. So let's pretend we're at the top doing hand showdown. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna squeeze everything together, step out. Okay, come back. Okay, so I'm gonna use my hips, use my shoulders, use my head, squeeze everything together and turn it down block. Okay, so here's where I can tell if you're doing it wrong is there's no squeeze. This is wide open this way. This should be squeezed in and turned in while you get halfway. Okay, one of the things that I, that I feel is I feel my thighs smack each other as I get about two thirds of the way, or about halfway around, okay? So as I get about halfway around, there it is, womp bump. That first womp is where my thighs come together. Okay, all right, let's do a couple, ready? It's, and back. Knee, and back. So this one here doesn't have so much to do with the front leg pushing, okay? Pushing backwards, okay? This has a lot to do with the turn of the hips, squeezing of the thighs, and turning of the upper body and the head. Ready, itch, I'm back. Knee, I'm back. Thumb. All right, good, now let's go this way. Um, so you're gonna be facing me. We're gonna do this with our, uh, okay, you just did it with your right leg forward. Let's do it with your left leg forward. Okay, so we'll start, we'll go this way. Okay, so left leg forward. So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna squeeze everything together, squeeze it, down block, and then come back. Itch, and back. Knee. And back, make sure the hip turns too. Thumb. 
Okay, check your stance. Is it wide enough? If it's not, you step too narrow. You got to come across the diagonal here. Okay, here's my center. Okay, so it's got to move through center. Itch. And back. She. And back. And go. All right. All right, good. All right, so let's do some uh, some turns like that, but this time we're going to do it with with some blocks, okay? And then we might add some reverse punches, okay? So let's go right leg forward. Yes, Elaine. Sorry, I just feel like I do have some push forward just to maintain the integrity of my front leg. I feel if I don't push forward, my knee collapses in. Is am I doing something wrong, or am I just you're saying your it? your new or your old front leg right As pushes I'm going in to a little bit? I don't I don't want to go like this. I want to keep yeah. it. Forward. Yes, correct. Now you're you're right. You do push okay. a little bit forward, but it's not it's not to actually step forward. It's just to maintain your your knee bend. Okay, thank you. Okay, and to get yourself kind of over the middle where you can spin really nicely. If you stay really, everything separated. Anybody watch uh, ice skaters? When they go slow, their arms are out. When they bring their hands in, everything goes, you know, really tight. Okay, same thing with ballet and so on too. So uh, you can see when they bring their leg in really tight, they spin nice and quick. When they let the leg out, they slow down. So same sort of thing. We want to bring our bring our whole body center so that we can turn easier and turn quicker. Okay, so let's take right leg forward. Okay, what I want you to do is do a full 270 degree turn, this time with a uchiuke, so underarm block. Okay, into a front stance. Okay, this is like uh, let's see, uh, Gion, I think, or uh, um, Kanku Show. All right, ready? Itch. All right, Araha, you got to listen. Right leg forward, please. Okay, move away from the couch. More. There you go. Now turn. We're going to be turning to our backside and doing an underarm block. Squeeze your thighs together. Here we go. And back. Okay, so Marty and Andy, this is, these are the ones that you guys tend to have that bend over when you're pulling your backside arm in. So keep yourself tucked underneath from, from the hips and your, and your stomach. Keep yourself tall, okay? Itch. There you go, good. Now, Marty, you might notice that you're a little off balance by doing it the right way because you're always used to putting extra extra stuff in at the end. Okay, back Andy. Okay, so you're always used to putting stuff at, extra at the back end. So you don't, now don't need to. So now you can now you can just think squeeze, okay? Here we go, itch. And back. Check your width on everyone too. Make sure you're getting wide enough so you keep a good balance. Thump. And back. So Marcus, just a little bit of lean forward as you start to do your technique. So keep your posture really tall, tuck from underneath. She. That's it, Miho and Masa, Mickey. Good job. Itch. Back. Coo. Okay, just a little lean dirk on the, uh, as you start, just a little bit. Yeah, that way. So try and keep yourself tall. Coop. Last one, Jew. Good. Mark, same sort of thing. Maybe just maybe like a five degree cant to your upper body as you start to turn. So just put a little bit extra into your tallness and I think that'll kick kick it right out of there okay all right let's put go left leg we got to unwind the dizziness okay this time do uh same thing uchuke 
itch. And back. Knee. And back. All right, Joe, as, as uh, Elaine was saying, bend into your front knee just a little bit to keep yourself from going up and down, up and down, okay? Keeping your knee, your current left leg bent as you turn this turn. Thump. All right, Mary, can you face front? Left leg forward. That's all right, good. Sheet. Um, let's see. Mary, you should be going that way. There you go. Good. All right, here we go. Go. Rock. Good. Sitch. Back. Araha, or left leg forward. Closer to the couch. There you go. Hutch. And back. Keep your posture tall, Raha. Okay, got a little lean going. Coo. That was good, Mark. Good, Dirk. Two. Good. All right. So let's all put ourselves in a uh, right leg forward. Now let's do shoot though. Okay, and then I want you to change to Nukite, all right? So Shuto and then Nukite. Big turn. Itch. Okay, and uh, Marty, I understand Kata does it this way. Nukite, just regular Nukite is no cover, okay? Yeah, just, just straight with a full reverse, full Hikite. And back. All right, so Mary, make sure you get your hip sunk and forward, okay? She, nope, not quite getting around all the way. Got to get your hip all the way around, watch. Okay, this is right from our, our uh, get together this week. Still, still here, need to be here. All right, so you got to get this thing down here. See how that straightens my knee out? Instead of being over here, like that. Okay, a couple more. She. Back. Joe, don't forget to bend that front knee. You're kind of coming up and then going back down again. Go. Okay, same thing, Marcus. I think this is one of your old habits you used to do is you would start this way this way and then stand up you got you got yourself tall at the end but keep yourself tall from the beginning okay Ruko. sitch Hutch. all right dirk don't forget to land in a back stand so coo Yeah, a little too wide. Last one. Two. That's it. All right, good. Let's go the other leg. Left leg forward. Okay, so this time we're going to uh, big turn. All right. Big turn. Shoot the block. We're going to do a Kazami Maigiri and a Nukite. All right. Ready? Keep your posture tall. Tuck up underneath here. Ready? Itch. And back. Knee. And back. Thumb. And back. She. And back. Go. And back. Peachy. That's it, Elaine. Check, 
check in the end of your shoot first shoot though though make sure your knee's not tipped in okay at the very end it looked like it was a little bit but just check it before you fire off the my giddy Sichi. Hutch. Mark, just a little bit more expansion of the back. Just a little bit more. You seem to be a little bit like this. Expand the back just a little bit more. Coo. That's it. One more. I do. All right, nice job, nice job. Okay, good. All right, Ame, take a short break. We'll come right back and do some Juipon Kumite. Anybody have any questions on the turning? Okay, everybody come back, please. All right, so just a reminder, some of the things you can do with free one-step sparring. So a couple things. One is stay loose, okay? Try and press and pull, press and pull the whole time, okay? Even after you've done your reverse punch or your counterattack, do not let your guard down. Even after you've done your punch, you give them one Mississippi and then come back, okay? They don't get all day to, to counter you back, okay? Separate the distance by shifting away, okay? One of the things we want to make sure we do in this exercise is, um, I'll give you one of, one of my pet peeves is no more rising block. Get rid of rising block. Unless you use it as a, as a counterattack, which is not really part of the exercise when it got to be more free that would be a that would be a good one to do maybe for street time okay but no more rising blocks okay the other thing is i want to not be here i don't want to be just taking everything straight okay i want to be at a point where i'm either going this way or this way or this way or this way so off to, or we could actually go this way too, okay? Notice the door was open every time. You can see the restroom door each time. So they're coming down the middle. You're removing yourself. The block becomes a, an insurance policy. I guess the other thing you could do too, maybe for the my giddies is row it in this way. Notice the door is still available. Boom. Okay, so I'm, I'm giving them this lane. This is their lane. They get to come down this railroad track. I want them to come down this railroad track. Okay, it doesn't matter where we turn, that railroad track's coming right at the center of our body. So if we take ourselves off that line in any manner, that gives us a, an advantage where we can attack from the side. We can also not have to block and our block doesn't have to be as strong as well as we can block counter a lot quicker okay all right so let's start with uh somebody punching face okay from here we're going to start with our left leg forward just assume everybody's going to stay left leg forward for now we'll make the adjustment later okay all right so from here i want you to step off with your right leg tate shuto gyakazuki come back ready itch <coughs> knee <coughs> One more, thumb, <clears throat> okay. Now here, I want you to do uchuki, okay. Touch with your right, take it over with your left, 
Kiyakazuki come back. Hey, ready? Hit. <coughs> Neat. <coughs> Don't forget to leave. Tump. <coughs> okay, good. All right, so still left leg forward. Okay, now we're just going to do a regular shoot though. Back stance. Shift in. Kiyakazuki come back. Okay, ready? Hitch. Knee. Thump. Good. All right, the next one we're going to do, we've done this before in one of our katas. It's like a little chicken head, like this. So our wrist is going to come up and make the strike. Okay, so instead of tate shuto, instead of regular shuto, instead of uchiuke, we're gonna do just this kakate here where the where the wrist comes up. Okay. So from here, the wrist comes up as I move sideways. See? They're still coming down this track. Gyakuzuki, come back. Ready? Itch. <coughs> Knee. <coughs> Thump. Good. All right, so from here, we're going to take time this time to make a big sotuki block, but we're going to go this way. Okay, I don't want to go this way. Okay, reason why, look what direction from here I brought it toward my face. So if I do the sotuki, I have to necessarily go this way, or I have to make a full step. So that when I pull this this way, it doesn't come toward me. It goes away from me that way or goes away from me that way. Okay, so let's do the, just the open the back door up. Ready? Itch. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> so we open this back door up. I'm gonna change, so watch. Watch my feet. As I turn here, you can see my feet are kind of crossed up a little bit to where I want to go. I need to move this leg over so that my center stays on them with my stance going toward them. Okay. All right. A couple more. Itch. Hey. Knee. Hey. And some. Hey. Good. Now from here. Let's do the full step back. So right, left leg is going to step all the way back and across our body. Notice I left this open. Okay. Ready? Hitch. Hey. Knee. Hey. And some. Hey. All right, good. Now for stomach punches, kicks, okay, we can do that same Sotuke or an uchuke. So right now I want to do uchuke. Okay, something different. So I'm going to touch whatever it is coming in. Uchuke. Okay, I can do that with a front snap or a, a mawashigiri coming from their left side, being over here. Okay. Or if I want to do from their right side where they got their left leg forward, I would step across this way and do that. Okay, again keeping it staying away from me. I don't want to bring it into me, okay? So let's go here, assuming it's a uh, Gyakuzuki Chudan. Ready? Itch. Hey. Knee. Hey. One more. Thumb. Hey. All right, this time, gate on barai. Itch. Hey. Okay, so when you do this gate on barai, one of the things I want to caution you on, don't leave it here. Okay, especially my giddies, even Gyakuzukis, because that Mawashi Giddy that comes head that is worth points, lots of points, and also pretty devastating. You actually get hit with it. So bring this down, bring it back up again. Okay, ready? Itch. <coughs> Knee. Hey. Thumb. Hey. Okay, good. Now let's do the Uchiuke. Stepping with your left leg away from, 
Okay. Kia Kazuki. Okay. Ready? Itch. Eh? Me. Eh? Should you leave some? Oh! Right, good. Now gate on Barai. Same thing. Stepping away. Itch. Eh? Knee. Eh? And some. Eh? All right, so let's assume we're doing defense from a my giddy, Yoko Kikomi, Ushiro giddy. Okay, whatever it is, I want this block with this front side. Okay, all right. So if I want to block with this front side, I'm going to go in and side and turn it. Okay, hold on a second. No, I'm sorry. I want to block with the back side. So I want to block with this side. All right. So from here, I'm going to go in, block, step through, reverse punch. Okay. So from here, left leg forward. Okay. I'm going to row it. Row it. Notice doors available, right? Okay. So I'm going to row it. I'm going to step through, punch with the same hand that you rowed it with. So same hand that came down is the same one you're going to strike with. Ready? It's hey. Knee. Hey. Thumb. Hey. All right, good. So from here, same sort of thing. Instead of stepping through, I want to step off to the side and back. So I'm going to step down block, same as we just did, change stance, okay, change stance, okay, ready, itch, eh. knee, eh. and some, eh. all right, now there's another way to do this too, if we can, if we catch them kicking off the side, of uh, uh, off their calf side as on over there and it's coming toward me from here i can go over this way okay but then i gotta just do a gyakuzuki here so i'm gonna take this leg bring it over open up the door down block and reverse punch ready itch <laughs> knee <laughs> and some Hey. All right, good. Any questions? So there's lots of different options to take. Hey, okay. this drill isn't necessarily about picking an option. It's about moving and learning how to move so that you uh, keep yourself safe so you don't have to block. Okay. And then also working on your distance so that you're right there when it's time to, to re, uh, to strike again. Okay, so right after the block, if you've moved away too far, you'll have to shift way in. And by then, they probably have one, two more techniques in them where you're not going to get an opportunity. So the more you give them space, the more opportunity they have to be able to uh, throw another technique. Okay, Araha, did you have a quick question? Uh, yes. Uh, the one where you turn. Uh, do you do uh, more than just pivot? Or All right, so go, go through the middle and the inside, not on the outside. There you go. Drop that hand and then punch again with that same right hand. There you go. Yep. There you go. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, so that same right hand punches again. Okay, but make sure you leave your... Uh, uh, left leg forward as you turn. Okay. All right. So now. Sensei, can I ask almost, you a question? Sure. Hold on. Let me get to you where I can see you. Uh, there you are. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, just um, strategy wise on this, for those that my Getty, uh, Yoko Kikomi, we're trying to get to the outside, the backside of that, that person strategy wise. 
um, versus blocking towards her inside and having to face that other weapon, right? We're, we're, mm -hmm. We want to try outside of that body or is it easier to get to the inside? Um, you know, that's something I always play with is, do I go to the outside and try to go to their backside or stay to the inside? I think, I think there's, more, there's uh, benefits to both. You're right. The inside has more opportunities for them, but if you if you return fire before they can reload, I think uh, I think you're probably fine going on the inside. So on the on the side thrust kicks and the and the uh, Ushiro Garys, yes, on the back side is always good because that's where the calf is. Okay, but on the Mygetti. You could go on either side because you're not really blocking on the calf. You're blocking along the side of the calf. And um, outside is fine, uh, but I think you could probably argue that if you can if you can fire off before they can before they can get something going, and if you've already changed the line, then they have to make the adjustment mid air, which is a little bit difficult for them to do. Okay. I right. and the other Good I question. had just a, a short. Uh, like idea about jamming. Um, I know we haven't probably spoke about that in a while is when they're yeah. ready to fire that kickoff or they're getting ready to do a machine event or something about going in and jamming them before they're allowed to get that technique out rather yeah. than retreating. Yeah. Is that's, there a uh, no, that's actually a good, a uh, good strategy too. Whereas, you know, they've got a plan for where the end of their technique is going to be. Right. And they've already, They've already sent the message to their leg. Okay, let's just say it's a my giddy, okay? They've already sent the message to the leg. I need to kick where that pillar is, okay? Boom, there's my length. I'm gonna go right through that pillar. Well, if that pillar is me coming the other side and all of a sudden now I'm this distance and I try and deliver that same kick, that's the wrong weapon for the distance, right? So the, the, the me if you can catch that when the message leaves the brain to go do something, that's called uh, senosan or sensenosan. So just as the message goes to the muscles, sensenosan is I'm doing it before they even think of, before their mo body moves, but just as they think of the idea of going. Plus, so you, you basically um, destroy their, their plan before they can even start to execute it with their weapons. Hi, thank you. Okay, all right, good. All right, anybody else? All right, so we are going to have, uh, we're gonna, Mark, you mind if we start with you? Okay, Mark is going to be our spotlight. Okay. And he is going to attack everybody with a Jodan, a Chudan, a Maigiri, a Mawashigiri, a Yoko Kikomi, and a Ushiro Giri. Okay, right. using using back and forth, back and forth, and uh, also uh, trying to see if you can uh, be a sneaky bugger. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Everybody bow. Yo. All right. Come on. Okay, Mark, on your own, uh, announce and continue. Good on. Hey, Gary. Mabashi. Oh, Masa, you got hit in the head. Thank you, Gary. And Ushiro. All right, so Miho, help me understand. Your arm was way up here for Ushiro Giddy. Was he kicking your head? Nah, uh, too high. Too high. Probably a gate amber eye would be better or a lower uchiuki, okay? Yep. Okay, good. Thank you, Mark. All right, let's go to um, Elaine.
Wait a minute, that's not the spotlight for everybody. <laughs> I got the wrong one. Replace spotlight. I got it. Okay, there you go. Okay. All right, so back up as far as you can and still feel like you can step back after you're done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two down. Two down. Two. Oh. Hi, Gary. What? Wash, Gary. Anybody but that block high for that got kicked in the ribs <laughs> or in the knee. So you had to really move on that one. Okay, keep going. Okay, okay you know, call me. Back up a little bit. There you go. Sorry. Sharon, Gary. Okay. All right. Good. I think um, one thing that might be able to help you a little bit is uh, just having a little bit more mental push and pull. I get it's, you know, it's, it's Zoom, so there isn't somebody there. But uh, to help you uh, try and create a little bit more push and pull with the, with the intent, okay? All right, last one. All right, we're going to put Araha on the spot this time. All right, so Araha, take your uh, take your uh, uh, thing off mute, please. Okay, and I want you to attack as hard and strong as you can. Okay, okay, bow. Come on. Yeah. Us. Oh, you got to step faster than that. Sit down. Us. There you go. Us. Keep your hands up. Whole way. Us. Do that again. Don't stop in the middle, okay? Do Yoko Kikomi one more time. Everybody's going to do it again. Don't stop in the middle. Just flow right through it. Us. That's better. Ushiro Getty. Ushiro Getty. Us. All right, good. All right, nice job. Nice job. Okay, let's go right into some kata, okay? All right, where am I? All right, I need to get myself on the spotlight. Okay, so the other day we did some MP. So we're gonna keep working on MP today. Okay, we uh, did anybody have any questions after they went through the video or um, had some time to relook at the folks who were here on Saturday? Any? questions you might have or anything different than what you thought you knew from before? No? Okay, good. All right, so empty starts here, okay? Palm into the hand, into the fist, right fist, okay? Now, instead of stepping out, we're going to sink and drop, and this leg is going to end up right next to my other foot okay so don't step out and just end up way out here okay so it's a dropping weight and all i'm doing is again taking myself off the center as i drop so i'm taking my body turning my body driving this hand into so if i if my assume somebody's in front of me right here and i pulled his arm down here okay 
I'm going to strike his groin with my left hand, with my right hand. Boom. It was there. Right? Okay. So from here, boom. Okay. Then I'm going to come up and over the top, down on top. Fist is closed. So stack the hands. Okay. Ready? Okay. If you've got bad knees, I want you to step up, sink, step out a little bit and just squeeze your thighs together this way. Okay. Squeeze your thighs together. You don't have to go down. If you don't have bad knees, you should go down within one inch of the floor. Okay, I'm going to do this once from one inch of the floor. Hope you enjoy it. I'm sure my knees won't, but uh, I'll show you the how to do it. All right, here we go. Itch knee. Okay, step out, front stance to the right, some pivot off the heel. Okay, bring this in, pivot off the heel, choke or uh, hook punch. Okay, down block, rising punch. Okay, from here, from this rising punch, I'm going to go to the inside, back down the middle, and grab. Okay, a couple different ways I've seen this done. One is just from here, push out. Okay. One is from here, and then and then shove as they do a little hop. Okay. So from here, the way we're doing it is go inside, down. Okay. And then hold there as we lift. Cover punch, down block, down block. So from this down block this way, rising punch, catch. Knee up, drop down, close it out to you like in be bus side eye or in hand yondan. Okay, cover with your right, punching down, gate on with your left. Now step out, keep your body open, down block to the back, then down block to the front, rising punch. Again, bring it around, catch, knee up, sink down. Back down block, front down block. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, again. Oh, Mark? Yeah, the first get on my right to the side, is it a regular front stance or an inline front stance? I do mine as an inline front stance. I know there's some folks that do it with a with a regular front stance, but with an open shoulder. Um, and then they don't move their front foot when they do the forward down block. I like this as an inline, and then I move the front foot, you know, that much over to create the next down block. I meant at the beginning. So we have this one here, and then we go to the right. Is yeah. This one an inline? No, that's a regular. Good. It's a regular. So this one here, um, let's see. So you're here, one. And then bring your left leg in, reach here and pivot in, bring this back. So use the hip to move yourself with your left leg. Okay. All right, here we go. Good question, uh, Mark. Okay, one more thing. Yeah. When you're doing the arm movements when you're facing away, I, I wasn't here on Thursday or Saturday, so it's confusing me. So from here, you're saying this part, the beginning? No, like after you come here, you go like that. Okay, so after after, after this, the arm goes around the top. Think of it as they're bent over like this. So you're going to go around the top on the back of their head and boom, smash them. Yeah, there you go. And then you're gonna step out this way, down block. And then from here, reach with your right, bring your left leg back, hook punch. Hook punch this way, okay? All right, does that help? Yep. Okay, good. All right, good questions, Raha. All right, open palm, right hand into the palm. Okay, I'm gonna do old, old man way now because my knees are talking to me already. All right, here we go. 
squeezing it in. If you're young, go all the way down without touching the ground. Ready? Hitch. <laughs> Knee. Squeeze. Some step out in or not in line, but a little bit wider, and then twist. Down block, rising block, rising punch, catch. Knee up, sink down, cover punch. Down block back, down block front, rising punch, catch. Knee up, sink down, punch, cover, out and down. Okay, continuing. Bring the left arm around this way, bringing the knee up and forearm, open palm to the 45 degrees. Okay, so it's like this, watch, I'm here. Bring it this way. Okay, so it feels like, it looks like this elbow has a string on it with my knee. Okay, and I'm going to end up in a kibodachi, square to this way, but my arm is going to be off here like this. Okay, from here, smash with the forearm, bring the knee up toward that side. Aip. Tuck the ankle underneath and behind the leg. Now, left arm goes underneath the palm, uh, uh, armpit, palm up to palm out, just like in... Uh, Side eye. Now two punches. One, two. Down block, rising punch. Okay, so come back to the, um, let's see. So from here, we went here, here, right? So from the down block going this way, lift. Keep it up. Palm 45 degrees. Smash the forearm into the into the palm. One. Ape. Bring it out. Punch. Punch. Down block. Rising punch. Okay. All right. Let's go from from the beginning. Plus. Empty. Itch. Knee. Some. Chi. Go rook. Hitch, hutch, drop, block, block, rising punch, catch, hitch, knee lift, block cover, block, block, lift, and press to the corner, smash, Aip. palm up, palm out, two punches, down block, rising punch. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, ready? From the beginning. Other hand, uh, uh, Araha. Yeah, there you go. So you're going to step out to your left. Itch. Down block and then come over the top knee. Good. Now, some she right down block, hook punch. Hold on, we're not doing the rising punch yet. So still in hook punch. Okay, now down block rising or rising punch, ready. One, two, three, catch. Four, knee up, sink down. Punch. All right, so Raha, you got to get your right leg forward, sink punch, okay? You got to get your right leg forward, sink punch this way toward me. Sink punch cover. Cover. Cover with the other hand. There you go. Now open it up, do a down block. To the back, no, the other way, toward me. Now to the front. Rising punch. There you go. Now catch. Okay, lift the knee, land forward with your right leg. Punch and cover. Down block to your backside. Down block to the front side. 
Good, lifting the hand to the 45 degree with the knee. Smash. Wrong leg, uh, Araha. Your right hand, there you go. Now smash. Yep, and then palm underneath. Other hand, other palm. Two punch. Down block, rising punch. All right, all right, Araha, you gotta get a little quicker with us, okay? All right, all right, here we go. Let's uh, finish up this kata. We've got just a few more minutes left, okay? All right, so from this rising punch, all right, we're gonna step in, shuto. Then we're gonna switch up, shuto and punch. So bring your front foot back, shuto and punch. And then one more shuto, okay? Then we're gonna repeat that down block, rising punch, down block, rising punch, catch, lift, hover punch, down block, down block. Okay, so from this rising punch, shuto, step in, switch up, shuto punch, shuto, return down block, rising punch, catch, cover punch, down block, down block. Now from here, from this down block, my hand goes right out, palm up, okay, like I'm striking either solar plexus or underneath their arm, okay, or possibly even to their chin, okay, if it goes high enough. So from here, I'm gonna go up, then I'm gonna change hands, go up again. So my right leg is gonna end up forward, my right hand is gonna be high, my left hand is gonna be low. Okay, so everybody from this down block this way. Okay, palm heel, one. Close the hip. Now switch your hands, bring your left leg in. Now right hand high, left hand low, right foot forward. Step in again, same thing, repeat. Repeat. Okay, from here I'm gonna do a down block with my right hand and I'm gonna go into a back stance, one. Okay. I'm gonna catch right hand underneath, left hand is gonna go high. So I'm gonna, like I'm gonna do a fireman's carry. I'm gonna grab their collar, I'm gonna grab underneath their, underneath their legs, between their legs. Okay, this is a fudodachi. So just like any other sh big uh, jump in uh, Shotokan, we gotta get the right leg high and then tuck the left leg underneath. Now this one here, I'm trying to put my right leg just behind my left leg. So from here, if I jump here, I'm gonna put this foot right here, not out here, okay? So catching, fudo dodge, jumping, hype, shoot the block. And then step back one more, shoot the block. And then finish with the same kamai as the beginning, okay? So from the down block rising punch, Shoot though, switch up, shoot though, punch, shoot though. Down block, rising punch, catch, repeat. Cover punch, down block, down block. From here, palm heel. Switch hands, bring the left leg in. Right hand high. Should have your right leg forward. Two, three. Now slide your left leg behind your right leg as you change to back stance. Do a down block with your right, one. Now shift in again, fireman's carry, two. Big turn, jump, hitch, hype. And then shoot the block, one more. And bow, finish, bow. Okay, any questions? All right, Elaine, did you have one? No, just looking? All right, let's do one time all the way through I'll try and walk you through it. Uh, try and uh, come back to this video a couple times this week to see if you can get the details down that we talked that we talked about. So you can rewind, keep play it again, rewind, play it again, do the different sections. Okay. All right, here we go. Empty. Itch. Knee. Thump sheet. Go rock. Hitch, hatch, 
to to itch me hump me up she go itch me leap some sheep go rock itch me some sheep go rock itch hatch to to itch me some she go rock hitch I itch yeah, man. Awesome. All right, any last questions? This one has uh, a lot of a lot of good quick motions. If you're a very quick twitch kind of person, you know, Mickey, this would be a really good kata for you. Miho, same for you. Um, Mark, if you're not, if you're kind of a uh, slower twitch, slower muscle movements, uh, you might want to choose a kata that has a little bit more dynamic tension uh, that uh, that you can make the slow move slow and then the faster moves would would uh, appear to be faster. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Sensei. Yes. Um, quick questions about uh, the stance changes back. Of course, we say back in the day, right? It's It yeah. seems like really exaggerated after we were here. Yeah. We kind of had that lean and a same line Zengsu. Yeah, there is a lean, there is a inline Zengsu as Mark uh, had a question on. So yeah, it's in line and then you change to a regular uh, front stance when you go back the other way. But there is a little lean, but I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't make it a lot of lean, okay? And that's a lean slightly forward and away. Yeah, sli yeah slightly forward and away. But think of it as, as as an attack to their to the top of their head, so you're bringing them with your left arm and you're smashing them with your right. Okay, so you're not don't think of it as a lean away from a kick, because if all you did was block them and then you turn the other way, probably going to get hit. Right. <laughs> okay. And then uh, last question was on these when we come in to change, are you are you kind of are we exaggerating that kind of half in and out, or are we just coming uh, straight in knees meeting? I, I seem to recall that we used to really kind of exaggerate. Yeah, we, yeah, you're right. We did. I don't, I don't like the move side to side action. It just seems like I'm wasting motion this way. I would like the definite squeeze of the thighs and then coming back out. Your feet don't need to come with it, okay? Uh, but definitely, definitely want to exaggerate the slowness. And then also as you're stepping, make sure that your step ends, okay? So I'm here on the first move. Make sure your step ends when my hands end. I, I mean, you have to save some knee bend for the movement. Uh, okay. I, thank you. All right, good. Uh, good questions. Hey, uh, I sent everybody a note on a AAU tournament that's uh, coming up in March. Just happens to be on the day I'm flying back from Florida. But I would highly encourage you to give yourself something to train for. Nothing like having a, a goal to be part of the tournament or maybe uh, competing. Uh, this is a kata only. There's different divisions for ages as well as experience levels. And then also there's flag, which is, uh, you know, doing it individually with somebody else side by side. Judges give you left or right wins, red or white. Uh, there's also regular kata where you can do whatever kata you want. You get a score. They score everybody in the first round, top 16, make it to the, um, quarterfinals, top eight, make it to the semis, top four, you know what I mean. So, um, so all those, they, they, uh, they whittle it down. You can do whatever cut that you want in each of the things. Once you're out, you're out on both of those in the, um, in the, uh, compulsory or the mandatory kata, you have 
basic katas you must do in the first round. Then you have some intermediate katas, I think up through up through need on test. So MP, Gion, Kankudai, Basidai, Techies are all in that group. And that's all in the website. And then uh, in the final or in the third round and above, it's you can do whatever kata you want outside of those beginner ones. Okay. But you can't do, you can't go backwards and go do hand showdown in the, in the final rounds, unless you're just one of the best flying, uh, flying front snap kicks in the hand showdown, which isn't in there. <laughs> okay. All right. So I would highly encourage it. Uh, if you think you might participate in other tournaments through the year, whatever, their uh, membership is pretty inexpensive. Kids are like 15 or 19 bucks and adults is 29 bucks. I think you get a, you get a break if you're a member for the tournament. So, uh, might be worth uh, joining okay and then if you got any questions get with me and we can talk about which events you might want to do there's also a kabuto which is uh, weapons you can do a weapons kata with that too okay all right we'll see some of you on thursday otherwise the rest of you on saturday